Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Long time no see in the handbook series, but I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. And today I'm going to give you a short video because, like you guys know, you haven't seen me for a while with uh, with the handbook video. And the reason I stayed, you know, the reason I took a break between the handbooks is because I just, I told you guys the last handbook um, video that I'm going to be making a video on each sector line, okay? But um, as I was doing the video, you know, it just felt very, because it's on a three times multiplier, the the that you know the that kind of video I did with another single player character on three on three times loot, and it just didn't feel very educational to me. It didn't feel like I was helping you guys, and I mean you guys watching me loot every single point of interest and giving it a score, um, will be quite boring. So I thought it would be better for me to loot at absolutely every location on the map that's what took me so long and give it my own score okay but not make it like you know a one out of ten or two out of ten or three out of ten or four out of ten just you know bad normal good and great okay and that is what these colors stand for average Good, great, and awesome. Okay, so green, a yellow, is standard. You will see there's a lot of yellow markers on the map. So that, um, but don't look at the big. Don't be, look at the big circle. Just look at the small circles. Okay, small circle. The small dots are for all the points of interest in scum version 0 0.8 at the moment of course they're going to add a, a lot of other points of interest but i don't think this is going to change in any major way i really don't feel it's going to change in any major way because i think the a lot of the sports centrum is going to be around the big city or around here you know they're fo focusing on the on on the empty spots so in case you know for the weird chance that they surprise me and put it anywhere else except the three danger zones, um, you know, that will surprise me. So if we just, what I did, guys, I looted the entire map for you guys. It took me about, it took me as long as the last handbook video, okay? That's how long it took me. So... Let's get back to the dots. I want you to ignore the big dots and I want you to ignore the blocks for now. When it comes to the dots, okay, yellow means nothing special. Very standard loot. So this is a town, um, standard loot for a town. This is a town of the ocean, standard, standard. So nothing jumped out at me after I looted Every single location on the map with a three times loot multiplier, you know, the luck doesn't, doesn't, isn't a factor anymore. I can literally see the loot that I'm getting at every single point. And the yellows are nothing to write home about. Okay. So all the yellow ones is very standard. Yes, you can loot them, but I won't go out of my way to loot them. Okay. Then, um, good is green, okay? So you can see the prison is green, the dam is green, um, the train yard is green, the B3 bunk, uh, the, the B3, the boot camp is green, okay? Um, this town is green. Um, so yeah, green is good, okay? Green is good. It's like, in, I'm happy, I, you know, it's... If I have to loot, I'll rather f skip the yellow and focus on the green, okay? So if I had to loot the map after the intense exploring and looting that I did, um, I would ignore the yellows um, almost completely, okay? Almost completely. You guys can see here, uh, the southern quarry is yellow, 
So I'd skip the southern quarry, but if you can't see that on the green, the, the, northern, the northern quarry is green. So I'll loot the northern quarry, but I won't loot, loot the southern quarry. Okay, and I'm not going to loot the I'm not going to loot the hospital or the brick factory unless I must. Okay, unless I need bricks. I don't think there's any reason for me to loot the hospital because I can get medical equipment everywhere, um, especially if I'm focusing on cargo drops and something like that. Okay, so yeah, in short. You guys can literally cut out the yellow dots if you want to loot. The, 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 the better the color is, the more specialized your looting experience becomes. Okay? So the red is great. The red is great. Okay? So this town is a great town to loot. This bunker is a good bunker to loot. The motocross track is a, is a good place to loot. Okay? Um, the train yard and the make factory are a great place to loot. And this town, you know, is a, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. So all the reds are great. Okay. The big city is great. The, the, the D4 is great. The, the, the naval base is great. The scrap yard is great. Um, the B0 bunk is great. You know, the, the, the power plant is great. Okay. So, the less colors you include in your looting in your looting route, the less time you will waste. Now, like I told like I told you guys, I want you to explore the entire map to have fun. But when it comes to looting, which the last episode in the handbook focused on, if you the, the less colors you use on this call it a heat map, the faster you'll get what you want, okay? It's as simple as that. So, I'll, I'll add this in the comments below, okay? Yellow is normal. Green is good. Red is great. And blue is phenomenal, okay? Blue is top tier loot, Blue normally means you won't be able to carry everything out of that place. I think even on vanilla loot, okay? But on three times loot, it just it's just too much, okay? I fold crate after crate after crate on a three times loot multiplier. So the, yellow, the red with the blue means phenomenal. The air base is phenomenal. The city is phenomenal. The B3... Um, tower, the B3 bunker is phenomenal, not only because it has three armories, the B3 and the A3 bunkers aren't phenomenal just because both of them have three, um, three armories. They're phenomenal because they've got a hazmat suit locker in them as well. Okay. The B0 is phenomenal because it's a big bunker and because it's got a hazmat suit locker in it, okay? C2 is phenomenal because it's got um, three armories and it's massive, okay? You can get a heck, heck of a lot of loot out there. And I made the C1 great because it's got a hazmat, okay? If it's red, there's something special to it. This town, there's something special to it. There's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of PvP, um, that you can get here. This town is very, very busy. You've got the little, you know, you got the little camping site um, next to it, the military camping site. You've got a lot of food around it. There's a heck of a lot of food around you. Um, you know, you're close to, you're close to the city. You're close to the sea. You're close to the sea too. Okay, it's just. I was surprised with the loot that I got from certain towns. So if a town is red, guys, it's a really, it's a really good town. It's when it comes to towns. So you mustn't think that this town is as good as this, you know, as this, as this town. But I marked the towns that is worth it, that gives you a lot of loot, that is probably going to be populated by players where you can get PvP, okay? Um, 
but I mean, you can't compare it to the big city. You can't compare it to the to you can't compare it to the phenomenal um, places, and you can't compare a bunker to a city. I'm just saying, when it comes to a town, if I mark the town with red, it is at the top. The loot that I got there was worth it. Okay, but I must say the two uh, the two new cities here down here was definitely um, how can I say more worth it than the C three town and the and the and the C one town. Okay, so blue and red is phenomenal. Okay, and then the second point that I want you to focus on is the dots. So blue dots means the safest sector to live in, and I place the dot where I would probably make a base, okay? Or you can make a base close to that location. So blue are safe. Um, big blue dots are very safe. It's not phenomenal. It's safe. Like, you're safe there. If you want a base that won't get raided easily or people won't find your base or people just don't go there, because there's no red dots there, there's almost nothing going on there, blue is safe. Yellow is is good, um, and then red is dangerous, okay? I didn't put any, I see I didn't put any green dots in here. So blue is safe, yellow is standard, you know, like a mix, and red is dangerous, okay? So that's what the big dots are for. And then the blocks, guys, is basically just a heat map of where you want to loot and where you want to where you want to have your base if you if you want to have a peaceful life you you loot and you build your base in the blue block okay if you if if you don't want to live in the snow or if you don't want to die from the cold if you don't want to struggle with the cold or you don't want to struggle with the heat because these are the only two safe sectors then you're going to have to choose the yellow Okay, or the green. But I mean, danger goes up. So blue is the safest sectors to loot and to live in. Um, yellow is the second safest. Green is the third safest. And then red is the most dangerous. But the red, although it's the most dangerous areas to live in, it's also the best looting, the best looting spots on the map. I mean, if you just look here, there's two phenomenal spots here with you know, there's two phenomenal spots and uh you know and a great and a great looting spot here is two phenomenal spots with two red spots and two green spots okay here is two phenomenal spots with you know with one no three phenomenal spots okay and this phenomenal spot is close to it um, so, you know, these are very high traffic areas. These are very high traffic areas. And these are very high traffic areas, including this, because there's not a lot of space for you to, you know, there's not a lot of room for you to hide here. Um, that's why I made it red. But yes, guys, um, if you've got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Okay. Um, I will leave down the comments what color means what. Okay, um, but this is my heat map. I thought I wouldn't make the video too long. We've got two videos left. Um, the next part of the handbook will be me looting the looting the power plant, so that you guys can just experience it. And on these single player settings of mine, it's going to be very very difficult and exciting. And then my last video will be a short base building guide. Okay, because I want to get to the new ultimate guide that i'm working on as soon as possible because i'm going to be doing that new ultimate guide on the new noob server which will be called the learning curve okay which will basically be an uh, uh, an official server with things made a little bit easier for brand new players i am not going to focus on killing brand new players i am not focusing on competing on that server with anyone i am just there to help people so if you enjoy this video, click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see and learn everything that we, see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, then click that subscribe button. And a lot of exciting things are going to happen in the future, guys. So love you all. Stay tuned. And
The videos are going to be getting better and better. Cheers.